Would an abrasive blasting robot make smart business sense for your facility? You might be surprised. Coming up, dispelling five myths about blasting robots. Hello and welcome to this week's Primed Insight. I'm Josh Shepard, a business development manager here at Blast One. When it comes to blasting robots, I encounter a lot of beliefs that prevent businesses from considering installing one in their facility. Most of the time, these beliefs don't really match up with reality. Recently, I sat down with our Finnish partner, Christian, from Blastman Robotics and asked him to address the top five concerns I frequently encounter when it comes to abrasive blasting robots. Take a look. I'm here with Christian from Blastman. Uh, we're going to talk about the five myths that we typically get asked or questions that we get asked uh, by customers. So, number one, typically a uh, customer will come up and say, you know, that's an awesome robot, but I, I just don't think we're able to use it with our production because we get different size parts. Some are small, some are large. We never really know what we're going to get day to day. We're a job shop. So, what would you say? Is that still something where we could use a robot in that kind of scenario? Or Yes, certainly. So, you have a high variation of products and, and you don't know what comes in uh, the next day. Correct. So, in this case, you'd want to consider a robot with uh, easy programming options, which we have many. And uh, there's also a possibility to have a cabinet, which allows for manipulator use by joysticks. So, you can, you can actually drive the robot yourself or automate it if you wish. Nice. So, second myth um, or question. We already have a blast booth. Mm -hmm. um, the dimensions are fixed, you know, a certain size, and I don't think we could be able to fit a robot in there. So, what, what are your thoughts on that? That's not a problem. That is the usual way of doing things. Uh, more often than not, our deliveries are into existing blast booth. We'll we need to make a quick preliminary study about the dimensions in the booth, and uh, then we'll see which kind of robots will fit in best into your existing booth. Awesome. Third question, um, we, we just don't have the money. You know, we're a smaller company. Um, I'm not sure, you know, robots are probably pretty expensive, so mm -hmm. I don't think we can make it work for us. Mm -hmm. uh, what's your thoughts on that? The highest cost uh, is you typically labor. So with a robot, you'll only need one operator to operate the robot, and he can do other works in the meanwhile, prep the workpiece that's coming into Blast, or whatever he needs to do. We typically look to have ROIs in one to two years and have always been able to add value to customers. So, fourth question asked, um, why can't we use a standard robot from uh, in another field, such as robotic painting or uh, robotic welding practices? Why can't we just outfit with that with a nozzle and you know let it rip? I haven't heard a lot of good experiences from that. Uh, the difference with Blastman Robot is that it is designed and built for blasting purposes. It is not standard robot, it is abrasive blasting robot. Fifth question, we're just a bunch of normal guys, right, in the blast booth. Um, we're not super advanced, we've mm -hmm. never used anything automated before, and you know we just do what we've been used to for the past 50, 60 years. I'm not sure it's going to be you know, a viable option for us because we're not too tech savvy per se. Mm -hmm. That's the typical setup. Uh, programming the robot is easy, will provide training, and there are alternative methods that you can drive the robot manually. So would we need to bring in a, a, you know, a new IT guy or someone who's you know, super tech savvy to, to work these programs and whatnot? No, not at all. The, X manual blasters make the best robot operators. So I wouldn't be too worried about that. So you think it's kind of like a little joystick setup, like a video game. If you can play a video game, you can drive a robot. Some have said that. Gotcha. Thanks, Christian, for your time. I appreciate it. As always, Josh here at Blast One. If you need anything blasting painting related, give us a ring. Thanks for watching this week's Primed Insight. See you next week.